today I'm gonna power this cabin with this wind turbine. Behind me is our research and development cabin. We've cut holes in it, lit fires, and I even took a nap. I like naps. And of course, coffee. As of now, we're powered completely off of solar. We've got a little battery to keep some of the power for when the sun's not out. I think we need a backup for days like today when there is no sun. There are several options for backup power. You could do a generator backup, but these things never start when you need them. And who wants to listen to them run anyways? There's hydroelectric, but this creek is 750 feet from the front of my property. So then I got this eco-worthy wind turbine and I put it together in this short video montage. So here it is. I'll worry a little bit about the location on this. I've bolted it into the side of our uh, R&D shed, cabin if you will. And if you look up the driveway this way, this is where your winds from the west would come. But man, I got house and trees and forest and all kinds of things. The back side of this cabin is south. And yesterday, that's where the wind was coming from. And then when I went and picked Gavin up this morning, I pulled back in the driveway and this thing was just humming like this. That's the northeast. So I'm not sure uh, exactly what's going on, but it does work. I saw it. It's not working right now. Hopefully, before we're done with this video, We'll get this thing buzzing and try it out. If not, I got an idea. can tell when I was talking about drilling holes, I got some big ones to patch. Something has been getting in here and making a nest. Might have to seal her up a little bit. I don't mind a couple mice, but if we got squirrels and birds in here, that's probably another story. The other thing that's interesting is this little solar system I bought uh, is made by EcoWorthy. That and the wind turbine are the, the same turbine, turbine, potato, patata. They're the same brand. I was wondering, this is our charge controller for the solar. This is the one for the wind. And this is like a heat dissipator for when it gets too much. And I thought, well, how am I gonna run solar and wind on the same charge controller? What's that gonna do to the battery? Well, the one that they sent out with the wind turbine does both solar and a wind. So we're just gonna disconnect this one hook it to here, and then this charge controller will run both. So right now we're back up and running, but we are running mostly on solar, even on a day like today where it's real hazy and whatever battery you know was charged in there from before. 
So it shows that the windmill's hooked up. <laughs> But as you can see, despite how fast it was turning when I came in today and what seemed like the same amount of winds, my efforts to lumberjack the forest down to make a little wind, it's not going. I got an idea. It's spinning there. You can see the solar panel and the windmill. It's going to town. There you go. All right, well, I call this a success. As long as we can keep Gavin up there to keep us blowing, we ought to be in good shape. Thanks for watching. Somebody give me a ladder.